Intrauterine insemination goes all the way back to the 14th century where the Arabs used to breed stallions and horses using this method. <laughs> Hi everyone, my name is Dr. Surakshit Badina. For those of you who are new to this channel, I'm an endoscopic surgeon, a fertility expert and a cosmetic gynecologist working at Indigo Med Center Chennai. And in today's video, I'm going to give you guys an explanation about IUI, which is also known as intrauterine insemination, how it is going to improve fertility rates at the same time also help patients who are having unexplained infertility. The very first way of how IUI improves the chance of pregnancy is that women take ovulation induction medication or super ovulation medication to help increase the chance of either having one follicle or more than one follicles released every cycle. Why is this important? Because some women who have PCOD may not release the follicles at all and some women might have very less number of follicles which are recruited every cycle. The next step in IUI is called as the folliculometry where an ultrasound examination is done for the patient every alternate day until the follicle is released. Most often the women release the follicle somewhere between the 12th to the 16th day of a menstrual cycle and correctly until the egg is released the folliculometry is performed. In some situations where women have polycystic ovarian disease, the chances are that they might not release the follicle all by themselves. In that situation, we might give the patient a HCG injection. So this acts like a trigger for the patient to release the follicle. On the same day when the egg is released, also known as the date of ovulation, the husband's semen sample is taken and prepared. So there are several ways of preparing the sperm. If you want me to explain more about the semen preparation process, do let me know in the comments down below. This semen preparation helps us maximize the number of good sperms which are available for us for fertilization. Now this process sperm is then taken made into a tiny pellet and it is directly pushed into the uterine cavity and this in simple terms is what IUI is all about. Now let me get to some of the most common questions which are asked by some of our patients. The first question they ask me most of the time is, is the process painful doc? And the answer is no. This process is absolutely painless. And for reference for all our patients, we just tell them that if they already underwent a process called as the histosalpingography, also known as the HSG, that process is much, much, much more painful than an IUI. The reason is because we use a very slim and a thin catheter which goes directly into the uterine cavity to push the sperms inside but there are situations where the patient can sometimes perceive pain and these few patients have an underlying syndrome called as the vaginismus unfortunately i will not be able to talk about vaginismus in this particular video but if you want to know more information about this you can click the card which pops out here and the next question what they ask us is, Doc, do I really need to go for an IUI? The patients who get maximum benefit from an IUI are those who have low sperm count or those who have low quality sperm count. Men who have ejaculatory dysfunction, men who have erectile dysfunction, women who are suffering from vaginismus and couples who are also having unexplained infertility. In conditions where the men have no sperm at all, this condition is called as azoospermia. If you want me to make another video about azoospermia, do let me know in the comments down below. In those situations, either the patient can opt in for an IVF or an ICSI with a TESA, which I will be talking to you in a different video, or the patient can opt in for a donor IUI. Sometimes the patients also ask us, Doc, how many cycles of IUI can I go for? Every time the patient does an IUI, it improves the chance over the previous cycle. So if your chance of conceiving the previous cycle was around 20%, the chance of you conceiving the next cycle will be around 22%. So always make sure when you do an IUI, do it continuously until you conceive. Uh, there is no evidence which shows that more than 10 cycles of IUI is useful for any patient. So over 10 cycles, the 11th cycle, the patient can opt to go in for IVF or ICSI. The other common question what the patient asks us is, Doc, is there any risk of doing an IUI? As of any assisted reproductive technology, the chance of twins and multiple gestations is a lot more for the patients. And coming to the most important question of them all, Doc, 
what is the percentage <laughs> what you need to understand about the successful pregnancy rates is that it depends on a lot of factors and these factors can be the age of the patient the status of the fallopian tube the status of the or the quality of the egg which is released the quality of the sperm which is released the quality of the endometrium which is inside so there are so many factors and not two couples are alike so on an average an iui can improve the chance of pregnancy from a normal conception from somewhere between 10 to 20 percent every cycle that's it for my video guys i hope you found this video useful if you got some good information out of this go ahead and leave a like on this video go ahead and hit the subscribe button if you already did not it means a lot to us and it gives us a lot of encouragement to do more and more videos do help us grow this channel so until the next one guys have a great day and i'll see you in the next one